right about now you're probably thinking, uh, Miss Kimball, you're right over there. Why are we watching you on the screen? Well, here's a simple explanation. My allergies have been acting up this week and I am in very serious danger of losing my voice if I spend all day talking at you. So today I'm going to give part of my lesson in a video to try and save some of my voice and um, hopefully it works. So today I'm going to read you a story about Igabudif, the musical yak. Yes, I said Igabudif. Here we go. This is a really interesting book, by the way. Um, the artist and author actually cut out rubber stamps, like used a knife and cut out rubber and then stuck it in paint and then did a whole bunch of other stuff. This was all done by hand. It's really, really cool. So here we go. Have you heard of Musical Land? No. What about Rhythm River or the Eighth Note Frog Band? See them? They're right there. Today, I have a friend whom I want you to know, but don't be surprised if he doesn't say hello. He's a yakety yak with a heart made of gold. He's one of a kind, and that's the truest truth told. That being said, my friend is quite shy. I suppose as a yak, you might wonder why. See, there's the yak. He's shy until you get to know the guy. He comes from musical land where names are unique. To musicians, these names are easy to speak. Those who don't live in this magical place, they forget this yak's name, but never his face. They struggle to say his name the right way, which makes our friends sad day after day. Oh, of course I know him. He's one of a kind. He's the nicest yak that comes to mind. I remember his face, but his name I can't place. Now don't be upset my friend is so shy. You'll like him, I'm sure. He's a talented guy. This musical yak's name is Igabudif. I'll teach you how to say it so you don't go stiff. It said E, G, B, Diff. E G B D F. Igabudif. This yak's name is important, just as everyone's is. So show him respect and remember what's his. To help you remember, I'll teach you a song. It will be easy and not very long. This song is Igabudif's very own. It's one of the sweetest I've ever known. I'm sure you have never heard Igabudif's song before, so listen closely and you'll know it soon. There was a yak from musical land and Igabudif was his name, oh, E-G-B-D-F. E G B D F E G B D F and Igabudif was his name. Oh. What? You've heard that melody before? Well, that's good. Let me tell you some more. Bingo and Igabudif's friendship goes way back. Long ago, they were a pup and a young yak. Together, they composed this snappy jingle, which soon became Musical Land's hottest single. Bingo's song is loved as a nursery rhyme. Igabudif's remains musical land's greatest of all time. Now, you're a musician, so it's time you know how the great lyrics of Igabudif's song go. Join my song and sing forte strong. Ready? Are you going to sing it with me? Okay, so I'm going to sing the first line, and then after that, you're going to repeat me. Everything that comes after that, because you know it. Everything that comes after that, you're going to sing along with me. So this is my turn. There was a yak from musical land. And Igabudif was his name. Oh, e -G -B -D -F, e -G -B -D -F, e -G -B -D -F, And Igabudif was his name. Oh. That was fun and truly fantastic. Look how Igabud is so enthusiastic. He is smiling from ear to ear because you sang it loud and clear. Want him to show you around musical land? Perhaps you'll see the eighth note frog band. This is when you say yes. Okay, look, look at this awesome sign from the musical land tourism and recreation department. I mean, come on, it doesn't get any more legit than this. 
Yippee, you want to see. Oh, how fun this will be. This is his neighborhood, Treble Clef Heights. It's where you'll find him most days and nights. See this big blue thing? This big blue thing with the crown? Some of you have seen this before. This is called a treble clef, and it tells us that the notes that come after it are going to be high notes. Here is Queen Treble Clef, who stands on her staff. See the lines? This is the staff, who sits on her staff up high. She sings to her subjects as they go by. Igabudif lives on these lines. You see? E, G, B, D, F. Look at him now as happy as can be. Yawn. You've been a guest, Igabudif's truly admired, but the sun's going down and he's getting tired. So let's say goodbye and allow him to rest. But first, let's sing his song and make it your best. Ready? Here we go. There was a yak from musical land, and Igabudif was his name. O E G B D F E G B D F E G B D F, and Igabudif was his name. O. What a great trip to musical land! Did you see the eighth note frog band? This is the end. I'm so glad you came, especially now that you know Igabudif's name. Soon enough, you must come visit again. I'm sure you will be singing Igabudif's tune until then. The end. There's something really beautiful about this book. Are you ready to hear what it is? You already know the tune to Bingo. And now you have heard it again several times, which means that, um, during the night, you're going to wake up, and this song is going to be stuck in your head, and it's going to play over and over and over all day long, and then you're going to come to school tomorrow, and you're going to be like, Miss um, Kimball, you ruined my life with this song, and I'll say, you're welcome. So that is our Igabudif story. In just a minute, we're going to talk about something truly fascinating. <laughs>